Hello from Chinature.com, this is Mark Chelsea. So for all my um, guns video fans, <laughs> sorry for the long delay. Uh, finally, we're back on some guns review. So we've got two new guns here um, that I'm going to review. So this video will be on one of them, which is the Umrex made uh, Makarov, new for 2014. And this Makarov here is very unique. Now let me show you a close-up view of this first. This is, this is called the Makarov Ultra. It looks really cool. And uh, the lighting here may be a little dark for the, uh, for the gun. But yeah, if you see, this is not really totally black. As a comparison, um, this is the older version uh, Makarov made by Umrex. See, this one is grayish in color, the new one. So just a little demo um, close up. This thing here, I give this gun a uh, 9 out of 10 or even 10 out of 10. Okay, it, it costs uh, less than less than 100 bucks. Okay, I bought it from Airgun Source. Uh, fast shipping. I got it the next day, and uh, it's full metal with a plastic grip. Um, the grip here doesn't feel cheap, like cheap plastic compared to the older version. I painted this um, black myself, but actually the grip, just holding it, okay, just holding it, squeezing it, and touching this part, compared to touching this, the old version. Wow, the old version feels like crappy plastic. This. This one here is smooth and well finished, so you don't feel that the plastic is crappy. It feels very solid and real in hand. The whole body is made of metal, and the finish is kind of gray, gray tone. Um, everything is functional. Okay, so you can see it's a blowback, full, full um, metal blowback action. Okay, single, uh, single action. See. Okay. You cannot shoot in double action mode like the old one before. The hammer is functional, you see. You can pull that back and slam it, see. Okay. The only thing that you uh, I don't like about the gun is that it's not a true um, full blowback. Like when you blow back, you see the ejection port? It blows halfway, see. Whereas compared to things like... Um, you know, like the GSG-92 uh, that everyone knows. Let me get that GSG-92 right here. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, let's compare it to this one. It's better. This is a uh, blank pistol. So when you actually pull it back, okay, whoops. It should blow back all the way and show the ejection port like that, right? So, um, yeah, and by the way, this is the mag. So pull the mag out. And if you pull the mag out, you see it's supposed to be like this empty, right? Yeah. So um, the Makarov, when you pull the mag out, you can see it halfway only, not all the way. So now that's the thing that I want to take the point of this gun. But other than that, everything is functional. This is the mag. It's released by um, a little button here. You press this and use the other finger to uh, get this out like so. It's very very nice design and uh, the mag is this part the lower part is plastic the silver part is uh, metal and the difference between this mag this kind of looking mag compared to the um, stuff like the Walters uh, CP99 it looks the same but it's totally not the same this thing here you see the back there's two holes one of them are for the blowback action and it it kicks some air into the slide and when you put it on put the uh, the slide the, the magazine on you can hear the sound hear that just that sound makes you feel so strong wow you see with my nice audio recording equipment you can really hear the operation of the gun is so realistic now here, there's a screw here. I don't know what that's for, but anyway. So, um, when you pull the mag out, okay, you put the CO2 cartridge into this slot. 
and then there's a screw at the back so you screw screw that on and here you pull down the um, the spring and then you can insert the BBs through this little hole you can insert it through this hole or you can insert it through the top I like it uh, I like to do it from the top because I don't usually uh, fill up the mag, mag all the way now fuel stripping the gun here let me take the mag out okay the slide catcher here is functional you can go like that and it will go like this the spring on this gun is not as strong as the old one when I hold the old one even though okay even though this thing feels heavier than this the old one feels heavier the slide when it bounce back you hear that loud you hear the loud sound I think if they use this spring on this one, it's not going to blow back that well. So they put a weaker spring on so that you can actually slide it pretty easily. See, the spring is not so strong. And this trigger, um, it takes a lot of force to actually pull this single action trigger, you see. Whereas compared to this one, the old one, even in double action, it is very easy to pull. Okay, so that's the downside of this gun. But now let me show you the fuel stripping. Okay, take the mag out, and then you can simply just pull this down. And then what you do is hold this down. Okay, hold it down. Pull the slide all the way and lift it up. And then there we go. Very easy. Okay? That's the internal of the slide. You see the green thing. Okay, put grease around that green thing, and also put grease inside this chamber the uh, little blowback thingy. So when you put it back, it will make the gun function much better. Okay, I learned this trick with my old Bursa. Uh, actually, it's almost the same, whoops. Okay. It's almost the same uh, design inside. And um, it actually sealed that spot very well to make the blowback action much, much, much smoother. Okay, the safety is functional. Okay, functional safety. When you put it back and cock the gun, you cannot put this on safe. See, it doesn't work. It needs to be decocked by holding the hammer and then pressing the trigger to release it. And then now you can go like that. So yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, I don't know how the real deal Makarov works, but uh, it's kind of weird that the you have to decock the gun first to put it on safe, like this, and then on safe. Because sometimes when I cock it, you want to not shoot it yet and reserve that uh, hammer right there, right? So you want to put it on safe right now with the hammer back so that you can always pull the gun out, unlock, and then shoot. Or it will be kind of like very hassle. So yeah, this is one of the weirdest thing. The sight, the iron sight, is, uh, front and back is all fixed. So there's no adjustment uh, for you to do. But then the gun shoots pretty well, and the box say uh, 350 FPS. In my opinion and my test, I can tell you that it shoots way harder. I chronoed it with an airsoft crony, and uh, yeah, wow. I chronoed it. I chronoed with this thing. It's 423 FPS. Okay, and it's a blowback gun. Okay, so imagine that, right? A blowback. The only um blowback pistol that shoots that hard right now um, I tested is the STI 1911 wow that thing shoots about 400 to 420 FPS with my crony uh, uh, measuring and woo, <laughs> that's pretty hard kicking but imagine that that's the 1911 the longer barrel this one is shorter barrel and it kicks really hard and really realistic operation everything is very well made so under 100 bucks, you cannot get anything better than this. This is really, really, really awesome. Compared to the older one, um, it also shoots around the 400 FPS range to about 380 FPS range. And uh, the thing is, okay, this thing here, the old one, um, is heavier. The spring is stronger, but the realism is not there. The mag here, okay, you need to press the other way up to get the stick mag out and which I don't like uh, stick mag sometimes 
And also, you need to pull out the uh, the thing and then put CO2 inside and screw. But then, this thing will wear and tear and get loosened up with time. And so that happen, you need to do something to modify it to make it stay in place. So that's the thing I don't like about it. Other than that, you can also feel strip this one like so. Uh, uh, need to pull the mag. Okay, put this down. Okay, you can also feel strip it like the same way, and it works. So yeah, um, basically, both Markarovs are nice. That one is like half the price. This one, you pay more for realism, hard kicking, blowback, full size mag, and better looking finish. Like honestly, I really like the finish on this gun, and the operation is very realistic. And while it still have a lot of power. Now, you may be thinking, hey, that replica re gun guy, uh, Mike, uh, chronoed his is like 334 FPS. So now we'll take it over to the uh, range and do some shooting tests, uh, can destruction and chrono the, the gun and see how hard it shoots. So let's go. Today we'll be using, okay, just to let you see, we'll be using Gamo CO2 with Pelgan oil. And I'm going to use the best BB ever, Avanti BBs, very expensive BBs. And we'll be using that to shoot this gun. So right now I'm going to load my gun up first and then we'll move on to the range and take a look. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, now we'll be um, shooting the Markarov Ultra pistol. And uh, as you all know, we put Avanti's BBs. And right now let's try this thing on a chronograph. Here we go. 400 FPS. Oops. Let me see. Can you see this? No. Okay. Here we go. 400 FPS on the second shot. That's pretty insane, eh? Okay, guys. Now I'm gonna stand at about um. I'm gonna stand at like 15. No, sorry, 16 feet. And then I'm going to shoot. So let's look at the target paper. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Zoom in a bit. Yeah. Very hard kicking. Very hard kicking. Wow. All five shots inside here. Very, very, very crazy. Eh? Take a look. Zoom up. And actually you see how many inches they are. So it's a one inch grouping, very nice. Let's see, okay guys, and uh, right now I'll do a test. This here is a, uh, this is a sound meter, okay? I'll use this to measure the sound of the uh, gun. So put it on max mode. Okay, let's try. This is uh, 90.4 decibel. Okay. Pretty loud gun and pretty hard kick. And uh, also now we're gonna try some destruction tests with the soup cans. Okay guys, so now you see we have uh, two types of soup can. One is uh, the thickest one on the left. The middle one is uh, not as thick. And then the uh, last one is the pop can with a clay disc. So let's shoot the clay disc first. Play clay disc test. I'm now standing about 15, uh, 15 to 16 feet. Wow! Pop can test. The other one. Okay, I'm uh, out of ammo. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Out of ammo. Okay, actually. It didn't punch through the can this time, weird. It punched through uh, two sides two side of the uh, pop can, brick clay this very nicely. But it doesn't punch through the soup can this time, which is weird. It used to do that uh, before, let's try again. 
Okay guys, now we're trying it on this can again to see if we can break it because um, the gun used to be able to uh, punch through soup cans uh, when I just first tested it. Let's try again. Okay, not this tight maybe. This is the Campbell soup soup can. Let's see if we can do that. Wow. It didn't punch through. That's weird. <laughs> because when I tested it, uh, the gun, at first it used to be able to uh, punch through soup cans and now it didn't do it. So that's pretty weird. Okay guys, so we tested, um, it didn't punch through and I was surprised by that because um, last time when I was using my first CO2, it can punch through the soup can and that's pretty weird that it didn't uh, today. But for sure that I can tell you that the uh, old Makarov uh, can't do that. So yeah, kind of weird. And um, so basically, basically the gun it's great for um, plane cling, target shooting. It's pretty really accurate with such a good blowback. Um, you can see the one inch grouping from 16 feet and also pretty good uh, power, good kick, so on. Okay guys, so thank you for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe and like. And again, this is the Makarov Ultra. Hope you like it. And I actually like this gun very much, just kind of disappointed on the second CO2 that I'm using today, which somehow the power dropped a bit and cannot uh, punch through soup can, and that's weird. But anyway, it used to be able to do that on the first one, and I wonder what happened. So I'll try this gun more and do maybe do an update uh, in the future if the power comes back. Okay, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.